Hi guys! Today I want to start making my own um, photo studio. Now, I asked on Facebook if anybody would like to see how I'm going to do that. I've never done it before, so if I can do it, you can do it. Um, this is a moving box. You can also use smaller boxes, of course. And what do you need? You will need some tape, one of these, or uh, just regular one that doesn't color. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's white. Uh, I mean white as in white. And you will need a, a pen or some sort of marker. You will need a knife. Now, you can use just a regular knife like this. For the occasion I got Stanley knives because I'm in the process of remodeling my house up. No doubt I will need one of these pretty soon. And something that draws a straight line. And I'm trying to keep things that you might have in the house. So. I got a bar of chocolate to draw a straight line. The chocolate is still in there, yes. And you will need some A4 paper, depending on how big your box is. If your box is bigger than this one, then you will probably need some size A3. But, um, oh yeah, and you need a measuring tape. Measuring tape. Doesn't matter what kind of measuring tape. I got like a semi-professional one. And your box needs to be flat to begin with. What you need is a hole right here to put your A4 paper on there, like that. So what you're gonna do is you gotta make sure that first you gotta mark your A4 paper where you want it. Try, try and get that in the middle. How much I got here? Nine centimeters there. Yeah, nine centimeters there. Six there. A little lower, but six here, like that. Okay, now you're gonna mark this quickly, and this is the outside, so you're not gonna see this later on. Now we're gonna measure about one centimeter, and I don't know how many, how much that is in inches, but I'll figure that out for you guys inside the box from about that same line where you are at that you just marked because that paper needs to go on the outside and then uh, needs to be taped I'm going to draw the line with my chocolate. Carefully gonna take this side out at the end. I'm gonna open it up. I'll take that back later. Oops. This is the way it's gonna be. This is gonna be your top line. Now you need to cut as straight as possible. Okay, 
Uh, it's not perfect, but hey, would have been less perfect if uh, if I hadn't measured it out. need this. This is the front side, so we're going to take that off. We don't need the side. So that's going to go to we don't need the other side. Oh. So that's going to go to don't need and we don't need this side so we can take that off there now you can make your studio like this and make two holes on this side you already got uh, uh, the hole from the from the handle maybe so you can do it like this, but you can also do it like this, and then it will of course be bigger. Uh, but either way, you will need lights on both sides. And if you have like standards and you want to put your jewelry on there, you might want to have it as high as possible. So you might want to do it like this. Of course you can make more photo studios. So let's go take care of this now. Take this down. figure out how that exactly was done. I'm going to tape that down. And you're not going to see this, so don't worry about it. You just want everything to look nice and flat. So the back side, of course. Pretty strong box. Okay, so I'm going for this is the top, and I want to make a hole on the sides also, and that's just going to be pretty much around this. Uh, handle. I'm not going to measure that out. I just want it around that handle. But I am going to make sure that I get about the same length. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'll maybe go through six. 
good. Going for six. Because that, that needs to be as big on one side as it is on the other side. And I'm going here, I'm going for, let me see, what's that? That's about six, so that should be about six also, right there. Now we do the other side. After you got all three sides done, it's time to put on the A4 paper. Or your A3, depending on how big your holes are. I got this barely going over. And you need to tape it down. And I'm outside, as you can see. And the wind is coming up. Stop, wind, stop, just for a second. Quickly. And make sure you're uh, still on the box with your tape. And just, you know, make your box stronger. Just put all the tape in there. It doesn't matter. You won't see it later on. There. And I've seen people use tissue also, so you can also use tissue. Now, I already got my other side down. So now I need to do my top, and it depends on how big this is. There are people that, you know, depending how big your box is, of course, they cut all the way through, give it even more light, but I think I got enough light. So now basically the photo studio is done on the outside, but what I would like to do is to strengthen my edges, my corners. So I'm going to use some more tape to strengthen it because I don't want to throw my photo box away after only one try, right? Holding that double. I hope I'm still in camera focus. Holding that double around the edges. And it doesn't have to be pretty, it just has to be strong.
Your, your tape is not covering the light. And I'm just using that this leftover tape to cover the edges a little bit. See, you can make this box as strong as that you like. And now, what we need is a piece of paper, and that would be for me A3. Um, if you have a smaller box, you can use A4. But I need to get me my A3 paper and kind of cover the back. Now, I got some A3 paper in here. And what I need to do is I need to paste this A4 paper uh, all the way to the top of the box. So for that, I got some double-sided tape. And I'm going to just tape that on the back all the way on the top. So I'm going to take my side off. And I'm carefully going to place my A3 in there. Okay, I got it. So I got my A4 paper pasted in there. Now I need a nice curve that goes like like this. And um, so I need another piece of paper. So basically. I'm going to use another piece of A4 which needs to go under here. So without trying to um, bend that, I'm going to go try and get that done. Don't fold your paper double. And take this off. And if you have a smaller box, then this is much easier because you only need like one paper. And put the other A4 underneath that. And you want a nice curve. To make that nice curve, you just pull out the paper a little bit and then you tape this bottom piece. So, got me curve. And as I said, this is the only, only the first time that I'm doing this. And no doubt I will try it again with a 
box that is a little um, smaller, where everything does fit. So this is this is basically the box now. It's got like a little curve. Um, I'm not too worried about this tape, but you can you know use um, transparent tape in there uh, to put over if if you're worried about that. But you're gonna take the pictures here, so I'm not too worried about that. And there's always Photoshop if that. Uh, line here keeps showing, right? So um, I'm going to take it inside and test it out. And this is basically what you got. Now you gotta adjust them the way you want them. Now remember, these lights are hot, so when you leave, uh, please turn them off before you set your house on fire. This light is a little bit screwed up. I might have to find another light for that one. Looking inside the box, you need to see if it's light enough. Turn them maybe more straight inward. And then put your jewelry in your box. Now I'm going to take some pictures and I hope you can see this. Uh, when I take my pictures, I take it with a Nokia. I'm going to put my settings on close-up or micro, which is a, like a little flower. My lightning will go off. And I'm going to put the colors, the settings, on very lively. So this is of course Dutch, but uh, so that you get like very colorful uh, pictures, very beautiful color. Put it in a little bit more. It's really not dark enough in the in the shed, but you know if you uh, if you are uh, in the house at night time, you probably have more light. I'm going to see what this looks like. You have to just adjust your lights, maybe put them a little further away if you got too much light. You just have to see what, what works best and eventually you'll, uh, you got that figured out. Oh, that's pretty. And uh, there's always a little Photoshop where you can uh, fix things up a little bit with Photoshop, right? Well, I'm very happy with the results, and uh, well, you'll see them in a second, I guess.